And the last presentation of this session, uh, uh, Takashi Nishio. Nishio. <laughs> and uh, you, uh, you will uh, talk about stabilization of DNA by branch chain polyamine at high temperatures. Yeah. So please. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to present our recent research. I am the graduate student uh, belong the Professor Yoshikawa's laboratory. Uh, today, I will talk about DNA stabilization at high temperatures induced by branched chain polyamines. The feature of our study, uh, we used the giant DNA, such as in these images. Uh, because we, because we have to investigate the essential features of overall morphology of DNA. First of all, I will show why we use giant DNA instead of short one. There is a big difference between the physical chemical properties of short DNA and giant DNA. Short DNA behaves like a rigid rod and cannot bend easily. On the other hand, long DNA molecule is just like a flexible rod and can take various conformation. In living cells, long DNA changes its conformation depending on the cellular environments such as cell cycle. The manner of packaging is involved in the biological <coughs> function of DNA such as replication and transcription. For this reason, we have investigated the conformational transition of large DNA uh, with use the single molecule observation. This is the outline of my presentation. First, I give a brief introduction about folding transition of giant DNA. Next. I'm going to explain linear and branched chain polyamines used in this study. After that, I'll focus on DNA higher order structure observation by atomic force microscopy. Finally, I'm going to show the DNA secondary structure by CD measurement. I'd like to start with first one, folding transition of giant DNA. This slide shows the direct observation of the folding transition of single DNA molecule in solution. To visualize individual DNA molecule in solution, we use the large DNA, T4, uh, sorry, uh, T4 GT7 DNA uh, with the size 160 kilobersphere, sphere, full length uh, 57 micrometers. Such a size is large enough to visualize under fluorescence microscopy, even in solution. As shown in this picture, under fluorescence microscopic observation, a large DNA is imaged as an elongated coil form. With addition of spermidine, uh, Individual DNA molecule undergo a transition from an elongated coil into the compacted globule. With use of fluorescence microscopy, we can easily distinguish the coil and globule states of individual DNAs. This is another example why the size is an important factor in DNA conformation. In these AFM images, it is clear that the short fragment remains, uh, remains in a dispersed state under the condition that causes a dense loop structure uh, for long DNA. This result also indicates the size is an important factor for packaging process of DNA. Therefore, we use the giant DNA T4 GT7 DNA with the observation of higher order structure of DNA. In the next slide, 
I'll show you linear and branch chain polyamine used in this study. This slide shows the chemical structure of polyamines used in this study. Uh, Trivalent spermazine and pentavalent homocarbid pentamine are used uh, as linear chain polyamine. I call homocarbid pentamine uh, 3334 after here. The compound on the right side, pentavalent branched chain polyamine, and for this aminopropyl spermazine, uh, I call it branched 3334. Uh, that is found in hyperphilic. Archaeon organism, Thermococcus codacarensis. I briefly explain the Thermococcus codacarensis. This archaeon grows at temperature between 60 degrees and 100 degrees, and optimally at 85 degrees. The important point is that the branched chain polyamine is synthesized in this archaeon with increase of growth temperature. Therefore, we thought that the branched chain polyamine may have a function to keep the DNA structure stable at high temperature. Next, I'll, I will show you the results of atomic force microscopic observation. As you can see that the typical AFM images in the presence of linear or branched chain polyamines. With addition of a linear chain polyamine, multiple looped, multiple looped flower like structure appears on the two dimensional surface. On the other hand, uh, branched chain polyamine tend to form a mesh like structure on DNA. These results clearly show the different effect of linear and branched chain polyamine on the overall morphology of large DNA. This is a result of atomic force, micro, atomic force microscopic observation. Uh, we observed DNA polyamine complex at 24 and 80 degrees centigrade by AFM. In the presence of linear and branched chain polyamine, Unwinding of DNA with increasing temperature was observed. However, the difference can be seen in the unwound DNA structure. I'd like to draw attention to AFM images at 80 degrees. Uh, in this picture, uh, DNA shows a very unique structure that could not be seen when it was in the presence of linear chain polyamines. Uh, I'm going to focus on this unique structure. Uh, as I already pointed out, uh, such a unique structure appears on DNA at 80 degrees in the presence of branched chain polyamine. I'd like to draw your attention to the arrow part enlarged view. Multiple nanoloop structure were formed along the DNA strand. It is very, this is very unique structure considering the stiffness of DNA. Such a tight, unique structure may concern with the stability of DNA at high temperatures. I'd like to summarize the results of AFM observation. First, branched chain polyamine tends to induce some mesh-like structure on DNA. Next, when temperature increasing, folded DNA was unwound. Finally, in the presence of branched chain polyamines, multiple nanoloop structures were formed along the DNA strand at high temperatures. That's the end of this section. Next, I'll give you some data of CD measurement. This is the result of CD measurement at room temperature. For linear chain polyamine, there seems to be no apparent change in the CD spectra, uh, in the CD spectra indicating, that the, indicating that the secondary structure indicate that the secondary structure 
retains the V form. On the other hand, for the branched chain Fourier mine, a marked increase of the positive CD band at 275 nanometer was observed. It indicates the branched chain Fourier mine induced a structural transition in DNA from V form to A like form. Uh, this slide shows the temperature dependent spectral changes of DNA without Fourier mine. Up to 70 degrees, there is no significant changes in the CD spectra. However, I'd like to draw your attention to the CD spectrum at 80 degrees. Decrease in both negative and positive peaks appeared. This is because the double helix of DNA was melted by heat. It is so-called helix core transition. In the presence of linear chain Fourier mine, the profile of CD spectra remains essentially the same from 20 degrees to 80 degrees, keeping B form. Unlike the control experiment, uh, no significant change was obse observed uh, even at 80 degrees. This is due to protective effect of polya mine against the thermal helix coil transition. This slide shows the uh, CD, uh, results of CD measurement in, in the presence of branched chain 334. This is an important point. Uh, it, it is noted that the magnitude of positive band increased with increasing temperature. Uh, an increase of positive CD band at 275 nanometer indicates an increase of best stacking interaction of DNA. This is brief summary in this section. First, branched chain polya mine induced a structural transition to A-like form. Next, uh, the magnitude of positive CD band at 275 nanometer increased with increasing temperature, and it and it, it, and it, and it suggests uh, increase of base stacking interaction of DNA. I'd like to finish by summarizing the main finding of this study. For, uh, our results indicate the following two points. First, branched chain polya mine tends to induce a mesh-like structure on DNA and only in the presence of branched chain polya mine. At 80 degrees, multiple nanoloop structure were formed around the DNA strand. The minimum size of nanoloop is around 10 nanometers, and just like a nucleosome size, it is very interesting to form the unique structure that has a nucleosome size nanoloop with such a simple system. Uh, next. Uh, branched chain polyamine mine induces a structural transition to A-like form, and we found them in the presence of branched chain polyamine. mine. Magnitude of a positive CD band at 275 nanometer increased with increasing temperature, and it suggests an increase of base stacking interaction. The important point is that the base stacking interaction may concern with the stability of DNA. Both of these results suggest, the, suggest that the branched chain Fourier mine, uh, branched chain Fourier mine uh, stabilizes DNA against the thermal denaturation. That's all I have to say. I'd like to acknowledge following researchers for collaboration. Thank you for kind your attention. Thank you very much for uh, instructive <laughs> talk. And uh, uh, now it's open for comments and questions. Yes, please. So do you have any idea why the stacking interaction was
would be larger? Uh, 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 it means uh, best stacking, why best stacking yeah. is? Why is it larger at larger, larger. temperature? Oh, okay. Uh, this is the uh, A form. Uh, that uh, A form is distance of base stacking becomes uh, closer than B form, and this distance was closer. Uh, so base stacking in the direction is becomes stronger. Uh, I thought it's okay, but it. This wouldn't depend on temperature. I want to see a temperature effect. What a temperature. The temperature. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know. I, uh -huh. I didn't clear it yet. OK, thank you. OK. Yes, please. Yeah. OK, uh, I have uh, a technical questions. Uh, in your AFM experiment, uh, you have to uh, adhere your DNA to a uh, meeker surface, right? You, you have a meeker surface? Yes, uh, on the micro surface. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you, you, uh, and uh, you have to uh, raise the uh, temperature to 80 degrees, right? And uh, how can you do this? You, you heat the, uh, uh, so uh, you, 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 what, what is the detail? You have to uh, heat the surface first and uh, or just uh, uh, adhere the, uh, the DNA to the surface and then uh, heat the whole system? Uh, I heat the solution uh, before the observation by AFM and all, all uh, uh, how, how uh, it means how we heat the yeah, 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 I got the, I got the idea. So you heat the solution. So uh, how about the surface? You have to surface the, uh, the micro, uh, micro chips? No? No. So uh, uh, when uh, the, uh, the measurement is at the normal temperature, you just heat the uh, solution, you mean? Yes, uh, and, solution. OK. I right. heat the solution. Uh, I got it. Thank you. Any more questions? Yes. Yeah, I just have a suggestion. Uh, I, I mean, this transition to the A form is possible if, if in low hydration conditions, as you know. Yeah. So why don't you just measure the contour length of shorter DNA molecules, like thousand base pairs? I mean, the contour length of the A form is, is would then be 280 nanometers, whereas in the B form is 340. So that is a significant reduction which you could measure. Oh. So just a suggestion. Thank you. Uh, sorry. In, any more? Okay, then we end this session, and I want to to thank all the speakers for very nice. Presentation.